Hey guys, this is JVT back with another video. And today this is an updated video of my SIG MPX submachine gun. So here's that little close up for y'all. Not even a big gun. Very small gun. Very cool gun. What brought me to update this gun is first of all, there is a Gen 2 MPX out already. The one I made was based on the Gen 1 with the key mod reel, the Gen 1 grip and all that. This one right here, I just made some new things on here. So for show, I did add a new handguard it, it doesn't look too different from the original handguard, but why not? Add one on here anyway. Plus, um, the handguard I originally made came from like my third MPX. This is my fourth MPX, and my third MPX was a really good gun, except it was just too big. It was like super big. Like this whole receiver could be the size of the Mark 18 almost. I don't know how I got that big. In fact, a lot of reused pieces like my stock and the magazine came from the old MPX. I just brought them more to scale here. And then I also created a new pistol grip based on the Gen 2. You've seen these on like the MCXs and stuff. Um, MCX Virtus, Spear Light. Well, I added it to this gun. I was gonna do a Magpul full grip, pistol grip, I mean. Don't really know why I didn't go with that. But um, I like this one a lot, that's for sure. The stock is new. I re, as I mentioned before, the stock came from the old MPX. So I rescaled it and now it actually looks like it'll be the right size. That and it can fit on my MCX a lot better. I got tape right here so it doesn't slide out too easily. And then I got tape up here so it doesn't go forward if I apply a little pressure on it. Or when I shoulder it, I mean. Dust cover. Opens and closes. Charging handle works. Trigger. Uh, I did have to make a new trigger guard for it. It's a little more rounded than the original ones. And here's the magazine. For an easier fit, I rounded, I pressed the edges of the magazine. I think I'm obsessed with doing this. So the gun will be able to fit in the gun, sliding easier. When I was redoing the handguard, I had to cut it down a little bit to get this to, cause, well, this whole upper receiver was actually like this long, but with this handguard, it was longer. So I had to cut this off and then I had this little piece in the front so it can look like um, a handguard replacement. And lastly, with the partial destruction of my upper, um, I had to make new rails I went with the, yeah, I went with these. Went with this design. And finally, the sights.
The sights, I don't really know what they're based on. I want the same sight picture as the the Bass P from Modern Warfare 22. But I didn't bother to see what those sights were based off of, so I decided to do my own like do my own thing with them. But yeah. That's everything about the MPX, except two things. Number one, flip these down, and we can put on an optic. For this video, I'm gonna be using the holographic. And with that holographic, it looks like I'm ready to roll. Sorry if that's blurry. Okay. But it's ready to roll just like this. Uh, I did not put any rail on the bottom. I thought it looked fine and it felt fine without the rail. So, there's that muzzle. Now the gun has a suppressor. And it looks like a very I suppress PDW. This is probably my favorite setup for this whole gun. With the suppressor and holographic. Simple, but you know, it, it looks like it gets the job done. But we still got two, three more things for this gun I want to show. So as you all know, the MCX and MPX platforms have interchangeable stocks. So let's take that off. Also, I'm gonna take this off for a second. And that's the gun without any cap or anything at the back. No stock. But uh, let me show y'all this stock. Some stocks real quick. The first of many stocks is the MCX sliding stock. This is supposed to be a side folder and a sliding stock at one except I didn't know how to do it side folder. Plus I was a little too lazy to do that. Although it does slide. And yes, this is a newer stock that I made for the MCX, which I'll be showing y'all in the next video. It looks so good by the way. But uh, this one definitely looks more like a Gen 2 MCX. MPX, I'm sorry. And we got another stock in the form of the Sig Spear Light stock. I can't think of the name of it, but I do remember this was on a Sig MCX Spear Light. I even had it on my cardboard MCX Spear Light. This one, tell you the truth, I like this and I think this will be better if I made a 20 round magazine. I probably should have waited to make that first and then do that, but I didn't. But very, very small profile stock. Not small profile, but slim stock. And we got, I got one more option for y'all in the form of this stock. This is an M4 buffer tube that you can put on your MCX rifles. This one's a little tight though, so I can't move this um, on and off as much as I would like, or at least not on camera, because I might pull the pull it off. Uh, I mean, this is cool. It's all right. Maybe if it was a Magpul stock or something. But I'm just keep throwing this one out because, I mean, this is the one stock I can think of to really put on any of my guns. But uh, it's all right. I'm not really crazy about this attachment, period. You know, it fits for ARs. It's cool for this too. I just don't care about it on MCXs and stuff. 
So let me go and put that MPX stock back on. Here we go. Back on the gun. And honestly, that is the video. That is my updated MPX submachine gun. That'll be all for the video, y'all. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, be sure to leave a like, comment down in the comment section box below, subscribe to the channel if you are new and enjoying the content, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss an upload. Uh, thank you so much for watching once again. And until y'all see y'all in the next video, which will be the MCX. This is JVT. You know, and I'm leaving to do something. But uh, see y'all. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Peace.